Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can create this style of design. This one is mom mode all day, every day. Um, this is one of my listings on Amazon, and this is a really quick, easy one to make and also a very popular style. So what we're going to do is go over to Canva here, and I am just going to go ahead and start with a custom size. We're going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That's the standard t-shirt to size. Ugh the standard t-shirt size, um, and it will ensure that when you print it, it's above 300 DPI. I do prefer to optimize my designs for the darker colors as black is the number one selling color for t-shirts. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and do a nice simple one. This is just going to be white text on a black shirt. Great for Mother's Day, but also great just year round or gifts for mom in general. Um, so we're gonna start with the text box. I'm just gonna hit T on my keyboard. I am going to be doing this one in all caps and it's just going to say mom. So super easy, nice big mom. Mom is going to go across the top here. Now I am going to want a font that's a little bit more, probably maybe a little bit more narrow. We'll see. There's lots of different narrow and bold fonts I could go with. So I just decided to go with the basic narrow one. This is, ooh, Archivo Narrow right? So it's a pretty simple font. I don't want anything super stylish because this is just going to be a nice, you know, minimalistic style. So go with this nice simple font there. And so that is going to be one thing. I'm going to go ahead and put a box around it, put a heart, put a little mode, and then put some text. So let's go ahead and just pick the text boxes first. So that was mom. The next text box I'm going to do is going to say mode. Now that's going to be in lowercase. And then one more text box, and it is going to be in all caps, and it's going to say all day, every day, all day, every day. And so that is going to go down here. And we can, again, pick some different fonts for this. For this one, again, I want it to be pretty simple. I ended up going with one, let's see, it was called uh, Beth, or Burn, Burn, Bedham Rounded. Eesh. Bet them rounded. So that's the one that I ended up go with, going with. But again, oops, hell, you can use any style you want. Um, and so I did that one there. And then the other thing I was going to do was the mode. The mode I wanted to be script, but I wanted it to be more of a stretched out script. So something that was a little less vertical, a little bit more horizontal. I did have to do some searching for that one to find one that was like a good script that was horizontal. You can go ahead and search for script, by the way, and it'll come up with a bunch of different script fonts that you can kind of go through. And so you can start looking at different ones and seeing kind of what you think might fit. You're looking for something that's going to be a little less vertical, a little bit more horizontal or stretched out. And so you can play with all of those. I played for a while before I came up with one that was called Hello January. Hello January right there. And so it's pretty small. I have to stretch it out nice and big so you guys can see it. But what we can see is that it is a nice long one there. And so that was going to work pretty well for what I wanted. Right. And so next I wanted to do a little heart at the top here. So I was going to go over to the left hand side where it says elements. We're going to go ahead and just do a little search for heart. So just something really simple and small. Um, I'll search graphics. And so I can hit see all. And any little heart will do. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. I'm going to make it white. And we'll shrink it way down. And I'm going to put it over the mom here. Okay. I'm going to grab my heart and I'm just going to kind of center it right over mom. So something like that. Now all we need is essentially the box. And so what we're going to do is we are going to look for a, a frame or a box outline. We can do rectangle outline. Let's go with rectangle outline. Re rectangle border. What do we got? So here are some different rectangle borders here. Um, and so lots of different ones we can look at. None of them are probably going to be exactly the right size and shape for you. And that's okay. 
because what we're going to do is probably have to use it, crop it, and use different parts of it. So this one will actually do just fine. I'm really just looking for sort of that outline look. And actually, this one's kind of got a double outline. It does. This one's got a double outline. That's interesting. Huh. That's kind of cool. You can do the double outline. Don't have to, but any of the any of the borders will do. And what we're going to do is do a lot of cropping of the borders. So starting with this top one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to crop. We are going to pretty much crop off the bottom because I'm going to want it to end here, right? And so that's one thing I'm going to do. I'm also going to hit control D. We're going to duplicate that. So now I've got two versions of the same one. So now I'm going to crop side to side. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this one out this one. I'm going to crop to just this side of the heart. And then the bottom one, okay, the bottom one, I can go ahead and crop. So I hit crop and I'm going to drag it the other way to just this side of the heart. So now what we've got is sort of the top and bottom corners. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom part. So to do the bottom part, I'm going to go ahead, hit control D again and hit crop again. Now I'm not going to flip these or anything because I find it's hard to crop after you've um, kind of flipped it. So what I'm actually going to do is just take it, hit done, and we're going to move it up to where I want it, line it up, and then I'm going to crop down from the top. Something like that. Now it doesn't look like it's lining up perfectly. I can zoom in, by the way, and make sure that I kind of can see what I want. Perfect. So I've got the bottom corner there. And now that I've got the bottom corner, I'm just going to do the same thing over here. So I can take this, I can hit Control D again, and then I'm just going to do the same cropping that I just did. So I'm going to pull it down so that I still have the bottom of the design. And then I'm going to get rid of the top part. I'm going to go ahead and crop it in a little bit more like that. And now we can go ahead and move it up. I want it to be aligned perfectly. And so something like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see it there. And so the way we get the box is, is literally just doing a lot of cropping. So I pretty much cropped all four corners to get the box where I wanted it. And so that looks pretty cool. Then I take this, I center it underneath. Again, I can make this a little bit smaller, I think. So maybe I'm going to shrink it down a little bit smaller and then just space it out more. So I can go to spacing. I can bring the letter spacing out a little bit more to get that on the bottom. So I like it a little bit better, I think, like that. And so there's my design, mom mode all day, every day. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy, lots of ways you can do this and lots of ways you can scale this out too. So I put mom mode, by the way, mom could be anything, dad mode all day, every day, teacher mode all day, every day, nurse mode all day, every day, you name it, something blank mode all day, every day pretty easy to scale out. Um, so once you've kind of got that outline, all you have to do is change the text in the middle. Now you might have to change the shape of the rectangle depending on the length of the text and everything. And you'll certainly have to change the fonts. If you do a longer word, you'll need a narrower font and whatnot. But you get the idea and it's pretty easy to scale. And this is a great one for Mother's Day as well. So I would just go ahead then and save this. I'm just going to call this mom mode, right? And I'll hit share download. It's going to be a transparent background. It's a PNG. We hit download and it should now be ready to go up on whatever product you want to put it on, whether it's a t-shirt or clothing or whether it's something more like a tote bag might look cool or anything else, pillows. Um, you can be as creative as you want. You can put it on as many products as you want. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. If you have video requests, you can throw those in the comment section below too. I try to see if I can get you added to my list. And because you guys were so patient and did wait until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. And since we did a mom design, I'm going to go ahead and share some um, you know, fun Mother's Day niches.
So without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches. Number one, mama, mommy, ma, bruh. And so that is a pretty popular one every year. Again, lots of different ways that you can design for that. But mommy, mama, mommy, mom, bruh. <laughs> Number two, good moms say bad words. Number three, weird moms build character. Number four, and I love this one, I'm so sick of babysitting my mom's grandchildren. And number five, feral mom social club. And so again, just fun shirts for mom. Could be for Mother's Day, could be for mom's birthday, could be for just anything, new moms, whatever. Um, and so just fun mom designs. Um, again, I hope you guys are doing really well with your designs and your sales, growing your portfolio. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.